Christ Crucified, the Wisdom and Power of God The message about the cross doesn't make any sense to lost people, but for those of us who are being saved, it's God's power at work. As God says in the Scriptures, I will destroy the wisdom of all who claim to be wise. I will confuse those who think they know so much. What happened to those wise people? What happened to those experts in the scriptures? What happened to the ones who think they have all the answers? Didn't God show that the wisdom of this world is foolish? God was wise and decided not to let the people of this world use their wisdom to learn about him. Instead, God chose to save only those who believe the foolish message we preach. Jews ask for miracles and Greeks want something that sounds wise. But we preach that Christ was nailed to a cross. Most Jews have a problem with this and most Gentiles think it is foolish. Our message is God's power and wisdom for the Jews and the Greeks that he has chosen. Even when God is foolish, he is wiser than everyone else, and even when God is weak, he is stronger than everyone else. My dear friends, remember what you were when God chose you. The people of this world didn't think that many of you were wise. Only a handful of you were in places of power, and not many of you came from important families. But God chose the foolish things of this world to put the wise to shame. He chose the weak things of this world to put the powerful to shame. What the world thinks is worthless, useless, and nothing at all is what God has used to destroy what the world considers important. God did all this to keep anyone from bragging to him. You are God's children. He sent Christ Jesus to save us and to make us wise, acceptable and holy. So, if you want to brag, do what the scriptures say and brag about the Lord.